think that's hilarious, man. That Thor dick just knocked everybody out. <laughs> and flick. Oh, you flicked too hard, damn it! Shit, even dudes were like, God <laughs> damn! <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, do you enjoy Double Toasted? Then put it on your body. Check out our tpublic.com merch store where you'll find all these wonderful designs that look great on high quality t-shirts with more designs coming soon. Or check out other high quality items such as mugs, pillows, tote bags, and more. Once again, that is tpublic.com, T-E-E public.com. Or click the link in the description below. Oh, well I was off watching a movie and Oz was off doing his thing and a lot of people, you know, it was the middle of the night. People, some people getting ready to go to bed, getting ready for work in the morning, some people brushing their teeth, taking a shit, a lot of people doing things. <laughs> all, all at the same time. <laughs> all, at the, all at the same time. All of that. Brushing my teeth, taking a shit. Yeah. I, yeah, people taking a shit and getting ready for bed, brushing their teeth all at the same time. And when you know, people, we just got through talking about big, old up, sweaty dudes. And right right when you were falling asleep in that toilet, big old, greasy, old up, blonde, sweaty white dude just busted the door. People Jesus, that, this dude. This dude. Jesus. Can't take a shit without Thor popping up somewhere, man. And that Jesus, is what happened. Man. Dude, it's huge, man. Jesus. I know. I'm beginning to think he really is a god. <laughs> like that's Damn not it, that that I that, that people they tell me that's that is rubber or CG or something. No human being can look like that. So that's all him. Jesus. Tell me somebody just, stuck a bicycle pump up his ass and just blew his ass up <laughs> or something. I didn't even know this was coming out today. Thor, I'm sorry. Well, might as well be him. Chris Hemsworth got on the on the on the on the Twitter yesterday and told people, "Oi, you're gonna have your mind blown. I'm gonna be Thor again, and there's a trailer coming out, a full one. Oh, look at my muscles. Oh, oh, oh. It's a, <laughs> and he ended with, oh, Sheila. Uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, Sheila. <laughs> Crikey, look at me muscles. <laughs> so he, <laughs> he warned us about this late last night, and lo and behold, his promise, his, his threat, or whatever it was, came to be. They dropped the Thor trailer while people were doing stuff. As I, as I said, I was away. I just barely saw this. I was, I was hanging out with Tom Cruise. He was another, he, he's practically a superhero, just running his ass off. <laughs> should've, they should have they uh, hired him as the Flash, man. He's just running everywhere. <laughs> yeah, he, he is the original running man. Yeah, That's right. yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody been able to catch his ass yet. While I was hanging out with Mr. <laughs> Cruise, this trailer dropped, and so I did not get to see a whole lot of it, but I did get to take a glimpse. I'm going to watch it again with you guys. And Oz hasn't seen it at all yet. Not. But we're going to watch this together. He reclaimed his title <laughs> as the one and only Thor. My hammer, bitch. <laughs> wow, that's, that's cool. That's, uh, that's, that's cool. Well, why don't they tease him like that, yeah, man? Yeah, it's kind of like that. He's like been that. missing that hammer all these years. He wasn't depressed because he, because he couldn't stop Thanos. He was depressed because he didn't have that goddamn hammer. But... Uh, as you can see right now, that's one of the biggest changes that we have. You got uh, mm -hmm. Jane, what's her name? Jane Foster. Jane Foster, or Natalie Portman as Jane Foster as Lady Thor or New Thor or whatever you want to call her. And flip. <laughs> <laughs> Should we help him? I think that's hilarious, man. That Thor dick just knocked everybody out. <laughs> <laughs> and flip. Oh. You flicked too hard, damn it! Shit, even dudes were like, God <laughs> damn! <laughs> this, I love this dude over here, man. He's like, shit, I didn't even realize I was gay until the day, god damn! <laughs> damn it, man. <laughs> like, how many muscles does his dick have that he's knocking people damn out man. like that? Even Russell... That gives even Russell Crowe's like, shit. <laughs> that is definitely a new meaning to the word cock diesel, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is something that I wonder if they're going to do. Because uh, today, you can show, you can actually get away now with showing ass in a movie and get a PG-13 yeah. rating. 
Yes, you can. They blurt it out, though. Yeah, they blurt it out here, but I think it, you know, it's funny. It's funny how we've gone. I'm going to get to the trailer. I'm not going to go off on a whole conversation about ass, but it, it's, this is funny <laughs> because back in the 80s, you could show ass in a movie and get a PG, PG. rating. They did it with it's Splash, okay. uh, mm-hmm. that Tom Hanks movie. And then uh, for some reason, showing nudity. This goes to show you how the MPAA is so full of shit, man. Uh, there was a period where they switched mindsets and then showing any kind of nudity was a rated R. Uh, mm. And now you can get back to rated PG-13, which is a nice middle ground, and you can show ass now. And some people are saying, Jesus, I hope so. Because <laughs> I want to <laughs> I know I can't get the front goods, but if I can just get that back, I'll be satisfied. <laughs> if you could just show me that crack on sense, yeah. I'll be good. Shit. You can't see it from the front, but you can see it from the back, 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 back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say you got them thunder cheeks. <laughs> thunder and lightning. Yeah, shit, I ain't lying. I want them. I'd look at this, really. I said this at the beginning, but what, what is this man doing? It's like, that's insane. His, yeah. the, well, you know what? He is he is doing a movie. I, this, I think it's uh, Hulk Hogan. He's going to be Hulk Hogan. Oh, he is. So he's, you know, this is just, you know, off of the course, man. Might as well. That is insane. Yeah, it looks ridiculous. Man. Like, you, I, you know, I ain't, I ain't hating, not at all. But I'm no, just saying, this one, well, I'm just, no, I'm saying it's like you, that's one of those, he has one of those exercise regiments and diet plans that you cannot humanly possibly keep up. Like, you got to be a god to, like, keep that kind of regimen up. Some people are so mad. Some people are pissed. That Jane Foster showed up, man. Hey, like <laughs> some people, are like what is that bitch doing here? Because oh, she, yep. <laughs> she just came in and just ruined everybody's <laughs> fantasy, man. What what is that bitch doing there with my man? Yeah. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, some people, some people are mad because everybody's lusting after Thor, and some people said, "Bitch, you tra- you trying to break up a good thing." You weren't supposed to be with that girl because a lot of people had their money on him going with somebody else. You ever feel lost? Look into the eyes of the people that you love. <laughs> Some people are like, hey man, Star Lord and Thor, that was supposed to be the hookup right there. Now this bitch done come in and just ruined everything. But that last trailer, that last trailer was funny. Or that last teaser, what they did was the whole thing was to kind of. And that's why it was a teaser. The whole thing was to show you that, all right, you know, you're going to get some good appearances in there, mainly from the Guardians of the Galaxy. But like I said, they were going to leave. I think they're going to leave early on in the movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah I, I believe you're right. I think they're early in the movie. Yeah. And just to, just to get him started, you know, and then they'll leave and do their own thing. Yeah. And this is where we get in the real movie now because we're getting way more story and we're getting way more story with who the regular characters are going to be. Of course, we see that Jane Foster, who is the mighty Thor, she's going to be in here. But the biggest thing, and this is what I'm wondering how people feel about this. Um, I wonder how people feel about, speaking of new characters, the one that, because we saw a little bit of Jane sort of as a, mm. as a teaser in the last teaser. Yeah. But now we get mm. to see her you know, full-bodied and everything along with another character that we actually did not see in that teaser. Oh, God, she will die. Gore, the God killer. I mean, who, <laughs> who, I wonder how people feel about this because I'm looking at my man because I don't know anything about this character and I see mm. him in the comics and he, you know, he's looking all swole like Thor and everything and looking very evil, very intimidating, man. You know, got... Mm. Got uh, uh, venom juice sliding all over his body and everything. He got that symbiote. On. Got that, yeah. And then I look at him here, and I'm like, he's just like a cancer patient right here. He looks tired. He, he looks like that Street Fighter character Dowson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the character from India, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yoga fire. Yeah. Yoga flesh. He looks like a like a mummy or something right here, man. Yeah, you know? he looks kind of crazy. I mean, well, that's the aesthetic for all, you know, comic book characters. No matter what, no matter who shows up, everybody's fit and, you know, and slim, you know what I mean? Except for a couple of characters. But for the most part, if you're a comic book character, you're supposed to be fit. So I think they're just trying something new since it's cinematic, how it goes. But at the same time, I don't know. Maybe he'll transform into something else later. I don't know. Yeah, who knows, man? I mean, I I'm, I didn't know anything about the character, so I didn't, like, again, didn't have a whole lot invested in it except for what I saw. And I'm like, well, that's a yeah. drastic turn from what I saw in the comic books. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, big time. And I just wonder if, if, that, if that actually uh, 
somebody says show another shot of him. He looks great. No, I would tell you, oh, yeah. he looks like I said. He looks like he's just weak and sick right here. Shit, he's looking like he's in a concentration camp or some shit right here. But mm. there's other shots in the trailer where he does look very intimidating. Maybe not in a big, maybe not a big muscular intimidating kind of way, but in a very creepy kind of scary kind of way, man. Oh, you know, yeah, that's a crazy, great shot man. right there. Yeah, he's crazy, then. Yeah, yeah, he definitely looks evil. If, <laughs> you know, if that's what they were going for, that's what they got. Yeah. I mean, he he is muscular. He's a jacked, like, you know, Hemsworth, but he you know he has some some size on him. Maybe looking at after looking at uh, uh, Chris Hemsworth, everybody just looks yeah. small and sick. Everybody look like tiny. Shit, I'm gonna look. That in is the mirror. ridiculous. Yeah, when I look, I'm scared to look in the mirror after this. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look like shit after I see myself. <laughs> Somebody yeah. says it's probably cool, before though. he levels up. No, I actually like if I it didn't know what cool. it looked like, it's not bothering me. I just want to know what other people thought about this who were pretty hardcore about the comics. You know, a lot of people who read the comics and know this character. If this was something that was going to be it's gonna have people talking tomorrow about yeah everything looks cool but I don't know about that gore man he looks he just looks weak you know I don't yeah. you know I don't know yeah no you know I know what you're talking about because the same thing with like I said about Ezra Miller he didn't look like the Flash to me and that kind of threw me off from him so yeah. maybe that might do the same thing with this character uh, again like you I don't know about this character too much you know just from the different pictures that I've seen I don't know his storyline or anything like that um, but seeing the picture and seeing this is like all right. It, doing something here and uh i like uh christian bale as a character character and uh well as an actor and i think he's going to bring a, a, a great character to it so i'm not yeah. counting anything out on him you know what i mean yeah i'm not, that's I'm not the counting thing. out on him. i mean you, if you don't like the look then you can at least give the actor some credit because exactly. christian bale is a great actor that's he's what he looks like that like a vampire man one of the things that i noticed that these movies are doing is that they are becoming more like the comics we said that they're becoming more like the comics and that, you know, how just outlandish they're getting. You know, now we're mm -hmm. dealing with magic. We're having more aliens come through and whatnot. They're becoming, you know, they're just becoming more fantastical like the things that we've seen them, dumbing, uh, like we've seen them do in comics, man. You know, they, mo yeah. the multiverse itself is, uh, is a big thing, you know. So it's almost like anything goes. But I really do hope that this is funny and I really do hope the story is good because one of the things about this becoming more like the comics is that it's a whole lot of CG in there now. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there yeah. are parts of this that literally look like a video game. You know, I look like a cutscene out of God of War. Right That's there. awesome. I mean, yeah. but I mean, but I think you gotta go that route if you're gonna tell a comic book story, because you know, before we were getting a lot of ground into real realistic things, and you know, yeah, that's cool, but it wasn't fantastical. You know, Marvel has been able to introduce the fantastical and make it. Uh, mimic the comic books and but yet try to keep it some sort of some sort of groundation to it what every movie's doing though and somebody put it in the chat and who said that uh i wish i could find it because somebody made an uh -oh. actual good point that kind of it kind of zeroed in on how i feel about this um what they say what they say well i, I think Sum after looking at after looking at like uh all the stuff that they've been doing lately uh the, especially uh, the multiverse of madness, and now okay. looking at Thor, you know everything is so clean, everything is so colorful and clean. You know nothing looks dirty or weathered or anything anymore. You know I think that's why I say video game. Uh, you know it, anywhere from even, and I know this movie didn't do that well. From uh, mm -hmm. oh, what was that movie? The The, the Eternals. You know, All right. yeah, and I, and I know you know some of this goes back to what the comic book artists were doing. You know, people always talk about one comic book artist, Jack Kirby, who, you know, did a lot to, to be an influence on movies like Thor, and Doctor Strange, and the Multiverse of Madness. And you know, and it's just, uh, I think that's what it is, man. Everything's if they could just kind of vary the CG looks now just a little bit, where everything is not so colorful all the time. Maybe it's just a little smudge here and there. Maybe well, then. I, well, I guess it's a case where you, you you look and see where the CG is being used and, you know, what is being used for, especially for this right here. They're in, you know, Olympus where everything's supposed to be opulent, you know what I mean? All these different planets where we don't know what those planets are supposed to look like. It's an artist's, you know, rendition of what it is. Yeah. You know, I think where we can start looking at what CG is going to look like is when they start bringing to stuff that we know, right? So when we get to the, the New York and, 
you know, earth stuff and, you know, the street level things. Maybe that stuff will probably get the look that you're looking for. But, yeah. you know, as yeah. far as these things in outer space and different realms and different, you know, I think this stuff is kind of par for the course, course for it, you know? Yeah. And that's not just that, me, though. Yeah. And not that I'm saying that this is bad because I'm very much right. looking forward to this. I think that's why people say, you know, uh, when they look at these movies, they're talking about how they're starting to, like, resemble the same. It's not so much that I don't like the CG. It's just yeah. I think that a lot of this stuff is starting to look the same to me. And gotcha. that's and that's not and, and like I said, it's not a problem if they really tell a good story or anything. I'm not it's not gonna slow me down from enjoying something. Yeah. But I that's think it. we can just have just a little more variety moving forward. But then, then again, you that's know, I haven't even seen this movie yet. And I have no problem with the way this movie looks, man. This movie is about, you know, uh the worlds of gods. Right. You know. Right. Yep. All yeah. you know, Olympus and you and know, again, it gets to be clean. Yeah, and it's, you expect it to be opulent like yeah. this. You expect it to be yeah. shiny. You know, this is what you expect right. when you see. With, yeah, why ain't gods ain't gonna live in trash? You know, <laughs> so you, know, you expect it like ain't. Zeus sitting up there with a lazy boy and a goddamn beer in his hand. You know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's Zeus sitting up there with fucking Oscar the Grouch and shit. Yeah, nah, that yeah. Ain't <laughs> I love. It was a Korg. Yeah, I, Korg. I love Korg. We <laughs> Taika Waititi's e character. Everybody. Everybody wants to be with Thor, man. Everybody, everybody <laughs> wants, everybody wants to be with Thor. Stud uh, anywhere from uh, 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 Jane to to Star Lord, but Korg is so it's almost sweet how Korg is in love with Thor, man. You know, I don't know if they'll come out and say it. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to do no shipping thing. I ain't trying to create no romance between them. But you could tell Korg is, Korg is just a little bit. He he's uh, he's smitten with Thor, just a little bit. Kids, get to popcorn now. Let me tell you the story of the space viking. Well, he got in shape. He went from dead bod to god bod. <laughs> into god bod. <laughs> yeah, Korg is so into Thor, man. I mean, shit, who wouldn't be, you know? Uh, I love that character. That character, I was wondering if he was going to get on my nerves after a while. But yeah. I think I'm going to be, I'll, I'll say this. I'll be very sad when we don't have Thor and Korg together anymore yeah. you know yeah. those two you're right are, they're a charming right. team <laughs> yeah right now you know he's he's caught because used just enough so far that i've seen you know let's see what uh, if he has a bigger role in this one and see if that bowls over well somebody said, but i do like Korg though yeah somebody said give him his own show uh mm. give him a spinoff or something man that yeah, character's I'm, become a I'm that character's become a lot of fun man i like that yeah, character I'm a good. lot i just uh, i think I, I liked him most when he just he treated Thor like like he was his big brother, his daddy. Thor, <laughs> that guy's messing with me again, Thor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy. He's back. He's he, back again, Thor. Thor, he's back. <laughs> Thor, he's back again, Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, is there anything that, like I said, we just saw this tonight. And uh, I was more curious about kind of how people felt about some things, such as how uh, 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 Gore would look to people. I think people in the chat saying we didn't have any problem with that. But is there anything that you guys saw that we're missing here? Any big Easter eggs? Anything that happened uh, in the trailer that we missed? Well, I, I will you. say this though. I, what I did like about the trailer because the teaser it almost gave me like a almost like a linear thing of how you could see how things will play out. This one was a little more frenetic, more chaotic. So I was like, okay, what is this happening? What is that happening? What the hell is this? What's that? You know, and I, I like yeah. that part of the trailer because just showing you drops and drips of things you don't know how it all comes together you know and that's how i think a trailer should be just kind of drops you in with very little narrative how you think things are going to play out you know and that's kind of cool a lot of people want to know are they going to have the storyline of jane being sick where she had cancer uh mm -hmm. interesting you know that was they do that i won't you know because that's how she got saved right and became uh thor mm -hmm. yep that's how she's being saved and being killed all at the same time um somebody made a good point here and they said uh russell crowe's accent oh does see. he have one yeah he's got a but it ain't like a it's it's more like a a, a, a redneck accent or something man <laughs> or, or maybe a, or maybe it's an italian i don't know i don't I, <laughs> what I mean, yeah i went from i went from the trailer park to italy man <laughs> Yeah, it sound, no, actually, it sounds like it's some weird Italian accent or something. Is it? Let's see who you are. I take off your disguise. And flip. Hey, hey let's that? see who you are. <laughs> yeah, what is that? I, yeah, I don't know. I said 
You know what? I, maybe I thought he had that trailer park accent because he looks like a dude that be drinking beer in front of a trailer park sitting on a goddamn cheap ass lawn chair. <laughs> he he looks look like that dude from that. What was that movie? Uh, what, what was that movie? We got mad at that woman in the car. <laughs> what, what, what was that movie? I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. Unhinged. He oh, looked, for, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He looked like that dude. He looked like that dude from Unhinged. He looked like, like that dude from Unhinged going to a costume party, man. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for this though, man. Looking forward to this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. Same, same, same. The yacht super fan fan who just got over cancer. She's like, God damn, I can't even go see Thor and get away from cancer. Well, yeah. I mean, hey, at least you, you don't have it. So exactly, exactly. <laughs> July eighth. July eighth is when it's okay. coming out. Well, here it comes. Here it comes. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be going back to the theater for that one, I guess. Yeah. It's funny. I, I I've been back to the theater one, two, three times, and yeah. two of those three times was for Marvel movies. We will see. July eighth is when this is coming out. I know this is one of the most highly anticipated movies of the summer. Yeah. Let's see what it does. Because right now, what the Multiverse of Madness is kicking ass right now. Yeah, that's the highest grossing movie of the summer, I think, right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll see what, what it does when Jurassic Park comes out and, you know, and then this comes out. Yeah, and then, you know, we're, hey, look, it's kind of cool that we're getting back into blockbusters. And I say this not as a slight against this movie, not at all. Mm-hmm. But Marvel has been uh, been dominating so much. It's kind of cool to see what's going to happen now that the pandemic is kind of Calm down just a little bit. Waiting uh, a know, bit. Yeah, just 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 a little bit. Now that we I get mean, we get more blockbusters out there like Jurassic Park and 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 Maverick, you know that Top Gun sequel. I wonder how that's going to have an effect on some of these Marvel movies coming out right now. You know, are they going to continue to dominate like they do? I think Marvel. You will not take down Marvel right now, and this is why because Marvel, they 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 have a machine now where they churn out yeah. all these movies. So they're always mm-hmm. as long as they continue to be. Uh, uh, as long as these movies continue to be uh, uh, locked with, locked into each other, as long as they be, yeah. because what these movies are now, and this could, you know, some people they complain about this, but what these movies are now, they're promotion just for the next movie. So can yeah. you beat? You know, the question is, can you beat the system? I don't think you're gonna do that right now. But can you mm-hmm. actually take away from a Marvel movie that normally would have been, you know, the big movie of the year of the summer? You know, I wonder right. how Thor is gonna do when you have something like Jurassic Park Dominion coming out, and you have, uh, you have a uh, uh, Maverick coming out. You know, we're getting back into blockbusters. A lot of people didn't think we were going back to the theater, but we are now. Um, yeah. You know, little by little, and you're getting movies that are just not gonna be. They're not gonna release those on streaming. They're just not. You know. Right. So, yeah, I wonder how that's going to be, man. I know Marvel feels pretty confident right now, so we'll see. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. You'll see there's a lot to be seen with how these Marvel movies and just how blockbusters in general do as uh, as people re- start to uh, as people start to hit back to the theater, man. You know, I yeah. I didn't think it would be this soon that we'd be doing this, but yeah, man, I find myself in a theater every week now once again. So we'll yeah, see. It's back. We'll see. It's back, baby. Hey, everyone. Support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content, such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. 